Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, who created us, redeems us, and sustains us, we give you thanks for the members of this Planning Commission, people who dedicate significant time and energy for the well-being of the City of Lancaster. We ask that you give to them your patience and understanding as they deliberate the items on tonight's agenda. We ask for your guidance and wisdom as they make the decisions that they are called upon to make. We ask also, Lord, that you inspire the members of this community to support these commissioners in their work, helping them to appreciate fully the work that these men and women do on behalf of all of our citizens. Fill all of us with an awareness of your will, that the work done here and the decisions made here will be for the betterment of all who live and work in Lancaster. These things we ask in your sacred and holy name. Amen. Thank you. Uh, Vice Chairman Smith will lead us in the pledge this evening. Please join me. Pledge allegiance to our flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Have the roll call, please. Commissioner Sparky? Here. Haycock? Here. Jacobs? Here. Molly? Here. Vice Chair Smith? Here. Chairman Bose? Here. Commissioner Irvin? Absent. We have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, the next item is um, public business from the floor. If there are individuals who are unable to stay through the entire meeting due to extenuating circumstances, a total of 10 minutes is provided at this time during which input may be given regarding agenda items. <clears throat> Individual speakers are limited to two minutes each. Any person who would like to address the Planning Commission on any agendized item is requested to complete a speaker's card for the recording secretary and identify the agenda item you would like to discuss. Each person will be given an opportunity to address the Planning Commission at the time such item is discussed by the Planning Commission. Speaker cards are available at the rear of the uh, chambers. Individual speakers then are limited to three minutes. Do we have any early ones? No. Okay. If we have any uncontested public hearings tonight, and we have some, uh, the oral staff report will not be presented if no one in the audience wishes to speak in opposition to the item to be heard. The applicant has reviewed the staff report and agrees to abide by the conditions uh, recommended in the report, and the members of the commission wish to waive the staff report. First item is the approval of the minutes, the minutes of the regular meeting of August 18, 2008. There before you. Do I have a motion? I move that we approve the minutes of the regular meeting of August 18th. Second. Thank you. Any further discussion? Please vote. Motion passes 6-0. Thank you. Next item is, a condi is a continued public hearings. Conditional use permit number 0705. The recommendation is to grant a, uh, the applicant an additional 60 day extension to November 17, 2008, to the next Planning Commission hearing. I have a motion. I make a motion that we grant an additional 60 day extension to the November 17, 2008 Planning Commission hearing. Thank you. Second. Thank you. Any further discussion? Please vote.
Motion passes 6 0. Thank you. The next item is uh, General Plan Amendment number 0405, Zone Change number 0406, Tentative Tract Map number 62757. The recommendation is to continue. Excuse me. Yes, the recommendation is to continue these amendment, uh, the general plan amendment, the zone change, and the tentative track, and the environmental impact report indefinitely, and withdraw the applicant's request to be heard on September 15. We have a motion. I move that we continue general plan amendment number 0405, zone change number 0406, tentative track map number 62757 and environmental impact report number 0606 indefinitely and withdraw applicants request to be heard at the September 15, 2008 meeting. Thank you. I'll second that motion. Thank you. Any further discussion? Please vote. Motion passes 6-0 uh, just by, by way of uh, statement in the record. Uh, this item cannot be placed back on an agenda without re-noticing. So in case there's any question. All right. Thank you. The next item is uh, item 4A. These are new public hearings. <clears throat> 4A is a one-year extension of conditional use permit number 0527. I move that we grant a continual use permit for 0, 05 um, dash 27 for one year. I'll second that. Mr. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Um, you, you need to indicate that, that we do have the letter indicating agreement. Oh, I'm sorry. But You're right. You, I beg your pardon. I, I have no speaker's cards on this item, but you should poll the audience and determine whether the commission wishes to go uncontested. I'll back up. We'll pretend we didn't have a motion then, huh? <laughs> no, we'll say we'll hold the motion and ask uh, the public if anyone wishes to speak on this, even though we have received a uncontested letter from the applicant accepting all the conditions. Do we have anyone? None. Okay. So the motion is uh, to grant a one-year extension to September 18, 2009. Please vote. Motion passes 6-0. Next public hearing is item number five, which, which is an amendment to conditional use permit 0410. Do we? Uh, it's an uncontested item. We received a letter agreeing to the conditions as outlined in our agenda. Do we have any speaker cards? None on this item, Mr. Chairman. All right. I move that we approve conditional use permit number 04-10 in the amendment. All right. have a second? I second. Thank you. Any further discussion? Please vote. Motion passes 6-0. All right. The next public hearing is conditional use permit number 0808. This is a conditional use permit to establish a restaurant within an existing commercial building that is classified as a primary on-sale alcohol beverage establishment, type 41 and includes live entertainment in a commercial zone. So the public hearing is open. We have 
uh, an uncontested letter received from the applicant. Do we have speaker cards? I have one speaker's card, Mr. Chairman, uh, indicating that they are a representative of the applicant. All right. Does anyone wish to hear a staff report on this? No? All right. We'll hear from the applicant if they care to offer anything. Who is it? Uh, Mr. Ludicky? Uh, the person indicating that they are representing the uh, applicant is Rene Guzman. Mr. Guzman? Yes, sir. I believe um, my name is Rene Guzman. I'm from uh, Guzman Associates. Uh, liquor license consultants and I do represent the applicant uh, apparently the applicant is not here um, I'll be very brief as uh, it appears there's no opposition speakers on this matter at this, at this point um, as we know the applicant did accept the conditions imposed by the planning department and the sheriff's department they are applying for a type 41 on sale uh, beer and wine license for a restaurant and uh, I was looking at the conditions and they have agreed uh, to abide by, the, by all the conditions imposed um, I would like to make a, a note that I also spent over $40,000 on interior and exterior remodeling of the place, which looks very, very nice. Um, I'm very brief on this matter. Um, um, hopefully, uh, the Planning Commission will adopt resolution 0825 on CUP 0808. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Nothing else, Mr. Lewis? No other speakers on this matter, Mr. Chairman. All right. It's appropriate to close the public hearing then, and uh, we'll consider a motion on this item. I, I move that adopt resolution number 08-25, approving conditional use permit number 08-08. -08. Thank you. Second? Second. Yes, Smith. Thank you. Any further discussion? Please vote. Motion passes 6-0. Thank you. <clears throat> the next public hearing is on conditional use permit 0813. This is a conditional use permit to allow an on-site sale and consumption of alcohol type 41 sale of beer and wine for a bona fide restaurant in a light industrial zone. The public hearing on this item is open. Do we have speaker cards on this item? I have no speaker's cards, Mr. Chairman. Okay. We have received on this item, however, we did receive just at the beginning of the meeting a uncontested letter. Would that be correct, Ms. Donovan? Yes, we have received the letter. Okay. Is the applicant present tonight? The applicant is present and is. sitting in the audience. Is? Yes. Okay. So, is the applicant prepared to uh, give a presentation to the commission tonight or? If you don't care to, that's fine. I'll ask staff my questions. Do you want to stand up and talk to him about your restaurant? Guess not. Ms. Donovan, um, we'll just go right on ahead. And okay. Since uh, no one cares to speak on this tonight. I do have some questions as it relates to the layout of the facility and and uh, the Mr. site plan Mr. We've Chairman, provided. Mr. Chairman, um, from a protocol standpoint, if if there are questions from the commission, we probably ought to present at least briefly the staff report. All right, please do. Chairman Vos and commissioners, the applicant Danny Fiorella from Giovanni's Italian Deli and Delights is requesting a conditional use permit to allow for the on-site sale and consumption of alcohol. 
Type 41 sale of beer and wine for a bona fide restaurant in the Ally Zone. The applicant is requesting approval of a 3,180 square foot square feet of leasable space for the use of a restaurant with on-site sale of alcohol. A proposed floor plan has been provided showing the overall layout of the restaurant. Giovanni's Italian Deli Delights will be located in Building B. Um, unfortunately, our aerial doesn't match what's out there right now. Um, there was a site plan review approved and is currently under construction. I believe your site plan shows where they're located. And the floor plan indicates a counter service operation there is no separate bar area. They do have a full kitchen and outdoor fenced area, patio area and two banquet rooms. Um, Giovanni's Italian Deli will have a printed menu with a wide assortment of Italian entries and desserts as you have in your packet. We consider um, staff and the municipal code consider this a bona fide restaurant as does the sheriff's department who do not, they, who does not oppose the applicant's request for a type 41 ABC license and believe that the um, use would not be detrimental to public safety based on the criteria outlined in his report which coincides with Lancaster Municipal Code. Staff believes that the proposed use would provide a service that is not currently available in this area of Lancaster, would provide a diversity of eating establishments to serve the surrounding commercial and industrial uses in the area. In addition, the conditions of approval approval will ensure that the proposed use operates in a manner that would be would not be detrimental to the surrounding industrial and commercial uses in the area. Therefore, staff is recommending approval of the proposed restaurant with on sale of alcohol. That, sorry. That concludes my uh, report. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Any questions from anyone? I noticed from the site plan that was provided, the floor plan, I should say, that was provided to us um, on the, would be the south side of the, of the um, building, excuse me, the north side of the building. Um, there appear to be five sets of double doors, look like storefront doors, uh, facing east, and a series of table configurations, which appear to be blocking access. Um, I'm not sure what that depicts exactly, um, but it seems a little odd to me. Um, however, when uh, staff analyzed this project for parking requirements, you did it on, not on seating but on the square footage of the building. Is that how you did it? That's correct. It's a one parking space for every 100 square feet of floor area of so the restaurant. Be, so would it be fair to say that when the, the tenant improvements are made to this project and the ultimate seating design and layout is established, that on final inspection by building and safety to get an occupancy permit, that proper circulation and exiting and all those issues would be taken into consideration? before a certificate of occupancy is issued? Yes. Good. All right, that's all I have. Thank you. Do we have a question? Go ahead. Uh, what time is the applicant planning to serve liquor? What are the hours of the li liquor service? I'm sorry, it doesn't appear to be in the report, but I believe they are opening at 11 a.m. and closing at 9, Monday through, uh, um, excuse me, Sunday through Monday. The, the uh, resolution 0826, item 3A, in the last sentence, the hours of operation and sale of alcohol for the restaurant would be coterminous with the hours of operation of the restaurant. So, without stating the hours, when they're open for normal business, they would be able to uh, vend alcohol, alcoholic beverages, huh? Yes. All right. Can I ask your question? Yeah. Thank Good. you. 
Anything further from anyone? All right. Be appropriate to close the public hearing then and consider a motion. I'll make a motion that we adopt resolution number 0826, approving conditional use permit number 0813. Second. Thank you. Any further discussion? Please vote. Motion passes 6 0. Thank you. The next item is uh, item 8, conditional use permit 0815. Uh, this is a conditional use permit for a 1,500 square foot wine room, wine tasting, I am assuming, and wine sales in a central business district. So the public hearing on this item is open. And um, we have received an uncontested letter for this. Do we have speaker cards? Yes. Two, Mr. Chairman, right. one from the applicant, one from uh, a, a supporting uh, member of the public. All right, very good. Then we should have a staff report. Mr. Miller. Good evening, Chairman Vos and Commissioners. We'll be happy to read the report. Uh, the applicant is Chantal Kilmer and she is requesting a conditional use permit to develop a 1,500 square foot wine tasting wine sales business and has requested a type 20 license for off sale beer and wine and a type 42 license for on sale beer and wine from the California State Department of Alcohol, Beverage and Control. The business would be within a newly created tenant space located on the southeast corner of Lancaster Boulevard and Fig Avenue, just east of the Performing Arts Center. It would be on the north side of the current Bank of America building. Lancaster Municipal Code Section 17.42.30 states that no place where alcoholic beverages are sold, served, or given away as normal course of business for on-sale or off-sale consumption shall be established without first obtaining a conditional use permit. The proposed business would offer a wine tasting area which would operate similar to a winery wine tasting room where people can sample and purchase wines. The floor plan indicates a wine tasting area, designated lounge area with tables and couches, a built-in wine refrigerator, meeting room, and checkout area. The general hours of operation are anticipated to be from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and complement show times for the Lancaster Performing Arts Center. The city's recently adopted alcohol ordinance has distance requirements that need to be met, and while the proposed use meets these requirements, it also meets the exception to the distance requirement, which states that distance requirements shall not be applicable to an alcoholic beverage establishment located within a mixed-use development or a mixed-use district. And this proposal falls within the recently adopted downtown specific plan within a mixed-use district. This proposed use would be in close proximity to LPAC and nearby restaurants and as such offer an amenity that complements the downtown area. Staff is recommending adoption of resolution number 08-27, approving conditional use permit number 08-15 for the proposed wine tasting room because it meets all the requirements of the zone. In addition, the wine room would serve a niche in the downtown area that is not currently being filled by other alcohol beverage establishments. That concludes the report. Should you have any questions, I'd be happy to offer. Any, I'd be happy to help you. <laughs> Thank you. So we have speaker cards. The applicant, I'm assuming. Yes, uh, Chantel Kilmer. Welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Um, I just wanted to uh, give a chance, have a chance to speak with you guys directly to let you know what we are wanting to achieve in the Lancaster downtown area and in the Antelope Valley area itself. Um, many people know that I'm the president of the Antelope Valley Wine Growers Association, and so we've been spending the last uh, three years building up the reputation of the wine industry in the Antelope Valley, wanting to bring tourism to the Antelope Valley area and really bring an elegance and upscale um, business to the area. So what we're wanting to do is to bring an elegant, 
upscale wine tasting room to the downtown Lancaster area next to El Pack, next to some of the high-end restaurants that are going in. And I met up with Scott Ehrlich, who has a wonderful vision of downtown Lancaster. And uh, we really think that this would bring um, a really a wonderful thing to the, the city of Lancaster. And if you have any questions for me, I, I brought some pictures and anything you'd like to know. Very good. Thank you. Anyone have any questions? No? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have another speaker? Uh, Josh Mann. Good evening, Chairman Bose and members of the Planning Commission. Um, I'm very excited to be back before you again. Last time I was here, um, this body uh, approved the downtown specific plan, and I'm excited to see we already have an entrepreneur who's, who's ready to take the plunge and uh, really help develop that vision. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be back before you many times to do this, uh, just to support an entrepreneur uh, who uh, is willing to get out there and help create that sense of community and a downtown entertainment venue uh, for uh, downtown Lancaster. And uh, uh, on behalf of the Lancaster Old Town Site, as well as the Lancaster Performing Arts Center Foundation, which I uh, also sit on, we're very excited to see this project come to fruition, and I'm hoping that you will adopt it tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mann. All right. Any further comments? None. All right. Any questions from the commission? I guess I, I'm wondering why you're opening at 9 o'clock in the morning. It was just a specific time. That could, could you come to the podium so we can get you on the record? Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, we had just put down the time uh, for 9 a.m. for anybody who needed to come before work or, or something like that to be able to get their wine for an event. Um, not necessarily for wine tasting that early in the morning. Most people don't want to do that. But to be open uh, for people to get their wines for an event or to prepare for an event. As you see, we have a little meeting area, event room that people can rent out to have a small event at or a meeting. So for them to be able to be there and get set up as well. Yeah, I think it's a wonderful project. And Thank you. I'm very I'm proud of it. Very, very exciting. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any other questions from the members? All right. Appropriate to close the public hearing then and consider a motion on this item. I move that we adopt resolution number 0827, approving condi conditional use permit number 0815. Thank you. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Please vote. Motion passes 6-0. Very good. How soon are you going to be open? As soon as possible. I'm hoping for the holiday. Right after the meeting, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next item is item 9, which is tentative tract map number 66558, a request to subdivide subdivision of five industrial lots in a light industrial zone. The public hearing on this item is open. Um, we have an uncontested letter from the applicant on this item. Do we have any speaker cards, Mr. Ludicky? I have no speaker's cards, Mr. Chairman. All right. Very you, good. You then. may wish to poll the audience, however. Some people have arrived within the last it's few possible. minutes. Those, uh, those latecomers who may wish to uh, comment on this or any successive item are given the opportunity to fill out speaker cards, which are here in the front or in the rear, and uh, you can be given time to speak. So if anyone's interested in speaking on this item, please fill out a card. doesn't look like it. All right. Then does anyone wish to hear a staff report? doesn't look like it. All right. Public hearing is closed then, and uh, consider a motion on this item. I move I move that I adopt resolution number 08-28, approving tentative partial map number 66558. Second. All right, thank you. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Please vote.
Motion passes 6-0. Very good, thank you. And item 10 is tentative tract map number 69294, a one-lot subdivision for 21 industrial airspace condominium units in a light industrial zone. Public hearing on this item is open. We have an uncontested letter from the applicant on this. Do we have any speaker cards? No, Mr. Chairman. All right. Anyone wish to hear a uh, report on this? All right. <laughs> Yeah, I heard the train whistle go by. I, this is, uh, this meeting's moving right along, isn't it? Uh, all right, then. Since we have no speakers and we have received an uncontested letter, it would be appropriate to close the public hearing and consider a motion. Do you have a motion? Yeah. I move to adopt resolution number 8-29, approving tentative track map number 69294. Second. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Please vote. Motion passes 6-0. Thank you. Uh, that concludes the action items this evening. The next item on the agenda is the director's announcements. Mr. Ludicky. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you are going to be... Um, given uh, copies of the draft policy document for the general plan. Uh, this is in preparation for your special meeting in two weeks, uh, as well as subsequent special meetings. Um, and just to let you know, these have been distributed uh, just prior to this meeting also to the City Council, and there will be a notice to the public of its availability also. So that's your, your reading homework for a couple of weeks from now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I do my best to please. I recall we had a question uh, the other day at our briefing about whether or not these special meetings would be uh, announced or televised or recorded, I guess, was the question whether the public then could access the, those hearings. Uh, had, had that determination been made? I, I have no answer to that at this point. I'm still trying to find out. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, we'll be glad to accept those from you, Brian. Thank you very much. Anything from the Commission tonight? All right. The last item on the agenda prior to adjournment is public Mr. business. Mr. Chairman. What's that? Uh, I've just been informed by my highly efficient department secretary that they will be televised. Okay. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. She is efficient. Thank you, Ms. Reyes. She, she, she <laughs> certainly is. Keeps us on the well informed, that's for sure. All right. The next item, uh, next to last item, is public business from the floor. This portion of the agenda allows an individual the opportunity to address the commission on any subject regarding city business. Under state legislation, no action can be taken on uh, a non-agenda item. Members of the public should be aware that this of this when addressing the commission regarding items not specifically referenced on the agenda. Uh, you would, we are asking you to please complete a speaker's card for the recording secretary. Individuals are limited to three minutes each. So, any speaker cards? No, Mr. Chairman. Only once, twice. Then, the last item on the agenda is adjournment. The meeting is that hereby adjourned to Monday, September 29, 2008 at 6 p.m. in this location which is a special meeting of the Planning Commission to review and discuss proposed revisions to the City of Lancaster General Plan as part of the citywide General Plan update process. We're adjourned.